Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <clears throat> oh my gosh. So <clears throat> forgive me. I have kids screaming in the background about can't get online, blah, 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 etc. How's everybody's weekend? Very busy and very fun. Oh, good. Is that Colleen talking? It is. Hi, Indeed. Colleen. I'm so Hello. excited. When is Susan going to officially put us on the phone so we can meet? Oh, well, <laughs> let's find out. Yeah, let's <laughs> organize that. A, I'll send a message. Oh, Absolutely. Thank you. Um, okay, so a couple housekeeping things, but I actually wanted to start off the meeting um, with a practice that I feel like you guys, and I'm not really exaggerating, like I feel like it's really changed my life and that's a gratitude practice. Um, I'm somebody who uh, came from parents who really always focused on the negative. So I've really had to work hard to look for the positive. And it was actually Phil Tavalachi introduced me to a book probably two years ago now. Um, and I started a daily habit um, where I would end my day writing down the things that I was grateful for. And I'm not kidding, like it really changed the way that I showed up in life. It changed, it changed, like it changed my life. Like I really started to look, go through my day looking for the good. Um, and when you start to look for the good and appreciate the good, you get more of that. Uh, Lori, Laureen, <laughs> Lauren, Koshak and I are playing a really fun game right now where we're going to talk a little bit more about that, um, where we share back and forth like the things that we've manifested. Um, I'm just admitting everyone. So I wanted to start off um, this call with just gratitude and it doesn't have to be, I'm going to say something that's specific to life manage. Um, and I can give a couple of different examples, but I really think it's important that particularly as you know, in 2020, <laughs> 2020 has felt hard for a lot of different reasons. Um, this business in 2020 has felt hard for a lot of different reasons. So I think it's really, really important that we start to focus on the good. Um, so for me, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's nine of you so far that have new customers. Um, quite a few of you have a few new customers. So I just want to say how grateful I am. It's so much easier to do this business when it's not just <laughs> me alone. Um, and so I just want to thank you for everyone who shows up to these calls. So I'm not just standing here like talking to myself. I want to say I'm grateful for you. I'm grateful for the people, you know, who have signed up for global. I am grateful for everybody who gets one customer. I'm grateful for those of you that get five or 10. Um, I'm also really grateful that Lauren and I were joking yesterday that I got to sit in my car. It was pouring rain yesterday and my daughter was playing a soccer game in the rain. But because I'm now able to order my Amazon, my groceries on Amazon, and I don't have to spend Sundays running around for four hours going to multiple different grocery stores, then I got to go to my son's football game for half an hour and watch that. Um, which, you know, it seems so silly, but like being able to sit on my couch and order my groceries seems like a very big deal that I feel deeply grateful for. Um, so is there anyone else that can share something that they're grateful for? Come on, guys. Don't make it awkward when I say I'll share. Joy. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, I feel immensely grateful that my kids get to go to school in person and that they're really thriving there. And it's and like, that's not, you know, I know it's hard for a lot of people, but like, I'm so grateful for that. Um, there aren't even really words to explain how grateful I am, um, for that <laughs> and I, that they're enjoying it and that my little one is actually enjoying learning for the first time ever. Oh, good. Oh, I'm yeah. so happy. Yeah. I, I can only imagine that feeling. 
Yeah, and I, you know, I, I, I was hesitant to say it, but no. it's something I'm really grateful for. No, I'm really so. glad that you said that. <laughs> and quite frankly, I'm really grateful for distance learning. Like one of the ways that I pivoted into gratitude, even though that my kids are still all three home distance learning, is it is immensely better than it was in the spring. I'm grateful, like even though my kids are um, like distance learning, like it, it's better because they still have sports. They're still able to socialize a little more. We're not all locked in the house. They're, they're actually, while they are home distance learning, they're plugged in and engaged. Like their teachers are doing a good job. So this is exactly my point. Like we have to look for like, what can we be grateful for? instead of focusing on the negatives. Is there anyone else that wants to go? I'll go. Hey. I am, I, I'm having the time of my life since COVID hit. Um, I turned 40 on March 13th and I took um, my family out to dinner. We went out to dinner. Um, that was like the last public outing and we moved into a rental property and we got to spend time as a family together. Um, I'm having a major turn of events in my life and I'm not going to feel bad that I'm having the time of my life when so many people are suffering because I still have empathy for everyone. Um, and I am in a job. I thought when I had kids, I had to leave my job in order to make space to be successful in network marketing. And that doesn't work for my personality. Um, but I am, I'm back in a new job now that is giving me, showing me the space where I can integrate my business. And, um, it's a Waldorf school, so they do two-week vacations every season. So I am on a two-week vacation right now. Um, and there's just a lot of leading from God, the universe, whatever, on how to do it in not a stressful um, grind type of way, but like, here's your space, do this now. Um, and the fact that how you are operating your business is so cyclical and I'm, I'm seeing it. Um, it just feels very in the flow and I'm having the time of my life. <laughs> I'm so glad after what you've been through, you deserve that. Yeah. Thanks for showing up and owning that. And thanks for being here this morning. It was a fun, yeah. fun little surprise. I'm excited to be here. <laughs> yeah. Good. Yay. Anyone else? Me. Okay, go. Yay. Hi, Jen. March 11th, right here. Fellow Pisces. <laughs> <laughs> um, I am grateful that I have friends in my community or close by that are not living in fear, that I can get together with, that I can walk with, that I can hug. Um, I'm grateful for the new office space that I was able to move into and start seeing clients again. I'm grateful that people are reaching out and wanting to schedule appointments. I'm grateful for my husband and all the, like the fact that A, that he's working, but then also the personal work that he's doing that's, you know, helping our relationship and the fact that he's helping other people. And I've been doing gratitude at night. I just sort of like go through the list in my head. Um, haven't quite gotten to writing it down but I don't think it needs to be written down, at least for me, as long as long as long as I'm as long as I'm saying it. Oh, and I got to see my dad for his 77th I birthday. I saw that. I was really happy to spend time with spend time with him. So yeah. I'm in with that. Oh, thank you for sharing that. Stacy, did you want to go? I do. Yeah. Um, I'm just well, I don't know if I would say time of my life like Jen did, but I feel like um, this time period has been a big blessing because everything that I've sort of wanted to do, it's been a little bit easier to get through. So like, I'm, I'm grateful because I'm going through 
the beginning process right now of um, a fall cleanse and I and that's motivated by the spring cleanse that I went through which I may or may not have done without it having been all virtual back in April and uh, I'm, I'm always grateful to have this call to plug into and you know to see you and everyone and um, oh, I just I actually, um, there's a, uh, when she lived here, she was a, a local author. She wrote a book called Three Good Things, at, um, Three Good Things Every Day No Matter What. And so that taught me that the same concept, even though I forget about practicing it sometimes. So I appreciate it that you brought it back up. And I'm, I'm also grateful that, um, for global convention coming up and specifically that uh, I'm able to go with Michelle and Mer that Mercedes organized what she did because I'm looking forward to, to meeting people and that's like the closest thing to a vacation and, and um, like leaving my little, my area where I'm in. Well, yeah. I'll leave it at that. Thank you so much for sharing that, Stacy. Um, so there's a book, I haven't read it yet, but I'm adding it to my list. It's called The Gratitude Diaries by Janice Kaplan that I hear is really good. Um, I just want to say that like, you know, implementing a gratitude practice, if you don't already have one, is something that literally can take five minutes, sometimes less, you know, you could do it at the beginning of your day or at the end of your day. Um, but it's something that's really, really powerful. And um, Mercedes and I were chatting about this yesterday that I think like when we look, when we talk about the DAP and we talk about like honing in on the invite and we talk about, you know, the process to get people into wellness evolution um, or all the various systems that we have and, you know, using power hours and things like that, all of those things are important um, for you to have success in your business. Yes. Okay. But you also have to be like, and it's something that some of us, myself included, had to learn. It's important to be grateful for where you are in the moment. You know, um, I, ha I had a coach once, Ruthie, who taught me something that was really, really powerful. She said um, that she was grateful for the moments that she was triggered right? So there's things that sometimes happen in relationships or the things that happen in our business or in our marriage, like whatever it is with our kids that will trigger us and make us feel things, whether it's angry or sad or whatever. And I used to like avoid those, right? And think that they were a bad thing. And Ruthie really taught me something. She said, it's a gift because it's shining a light on a place that we need to heal. So if you ever feel triggered, like using flip the switch as an example, right? Like maybe you were one of the people that didn't quite get the five customers and you wanted to, or maybe even like if it's a shining stars, you know, the one cost or the um, at least one customer and a hundred points like Marcy's program. Um, if you felt triggered by that, or maybe felt small or felt anything <laughs> Like, instead of like shutting down and quitting, I invite you to look at what's the lesson there? Like, why do you feel the way you feel? It's a gift, right? So use it, like take that to pivot and to grow yourself. And it's really the growth mindset that is absolutely critical to the success of your business. You can hustle and do the DAP and all of the things. And yes, you will make money. You will sign some people up. But I'm going to tell you what a mentor said to me very early on. You won't actually have long-term success. You won't. It's working on here. Like it's working on the mindset um, that, that's critical to the long-term success of our businesses and, and freedom. And it's an ever, like, it's a journey. Like sometimes I work, I work, I work. And I like, I, I'm like, God, when is the work going to be done? Like, when am I going to get to be finished growing my mindset and like, 
every time I feel like, okay, like I got somewhere, like some other issue comes up that I wasn't aware of before. And what I've learned through lots of trial and error is to be grateful for the journey that we're always in the exact right place. And we're going to stay in that place until we're learning, willing to learn the lessons that we need to learn. And so if we just kind of trust that it all works out exactly the way that it's supposed to, even COVID, even 2020, even all the terrible things that sometimes happen to people, like there, there's a gift in there. There's a lesson. And so I'm just going to kind of encourage you guys to like, shift your mindset and look for the lessons, um, particularly if you feel triggered. Lauren and I have been chatting a lot. She and I are playing a really, really fun game that I mentioned. Um, I don't even remember how it started. I think she just did a post in her story. She was like, what's something that somebody manifested lately? And um, I responded to her like, but I thought about it again. It's having the awareness. Like I realized like, oh, wow. Like I do like stuff comes up. Like Saturday, I went to lunch with my mom, which was fun because she's refused to be with me for like, I don't know, five months now. And um, she's someone that lives in, she's living in fear. And so she and I went to the mall to start holiday shopping and she made um, lunch reservations for us. And it was actually very nice to be with her. It's not always nice to be with my mother. So I was really grateful for that. And um, long story short is I ended up the restaurant comped my meal. Like I had lovely, I had fish tacos and sweet potato French fries. They were delicious. I was free. And then they gave me a $20 gift card, right? And I think sometimes I move so fast that I don't take time to appreciate those little things that were manifesting all along. And it's, it's in the, like the juicy bits are like, you know, when you find a penny on the ground is being grateful that you found a penny. Like I, if for those that believe in like an abundance mindset, like that's where it all starts. So I'm really grateful that Lauren introduced that game to me. And she and I have been going back and forth about like, Ooh, what did you manifest today? You know, because I'm looking for it now because she and I are playing the game and she's such a good example of someone who has really, really, um, is it okay if I share Lauren? Like when I first met Lauren, like Totally. Four, four years ago, um, I would say that you had a, a fixed mindset a little bit, like you were not as personally or self-developed as you are now. And it has been like, I love making money in this business. I love seeing you guys successful and you guys making money. But I think sometimes like some of the, uh, like the most satisfying things are watching like the growth of you guys and watching Lauren like if you guys could have seen like what, where she's coming from to where she is now, like your mind would be blown. And I think it's, it, I, I, yes, the products played a role. I think the products gave you the space, the mental space to do the work, but maybe you can share a little bit about like, what have you done? Like what is working for you? And like, I don't know, just share some insight because you have so much of it. <laughs> Uh, thanks. Yeah, I was definitely in a totally different space like four years ago, probably even like two years ago, actually, like maybe even a year and a half. Like it really hasn't been like that long ago. Um, but yeah, I totally shifted my mindset in the last couple of years. Um, also, there's a storm right now and he's very scared of thunder. So he's oh, hanging out with me right now. Sweet boy. I know. Little bedhead. Um, <laughs> so yeah, anyway, this wasn't like an overnight... <laughs> Hey, stop. This wasn't like an overnight thing. It just kind of like sort of settled in and slow shifts happened throughout the course of the last two years. Um, I do something for personal development for myself or self-care daily, like at least 15 minutes a day. It honestly, it ends up being longer, like 20 to 30 minutes just because like I get into it. But some days I don't feel like it, but I always make myself do something like that's a non-negotiable for me. Um, Joy uses that term sometimes. If you guys haven't heard it yet, it's... Um, a non-negotiable is something that you commit to doing no matter what happens. Like you're just there for it. Like you hold up your end of the deal for yourself, basically. Um, like for right, like example, right now when I work out, I'm not listening to music. I'm usually listening to like a personal development book on Audible because that's what I like, um, and it's an easy like time for it. Perfect. Oh, my legs. <laughs> um, 
Um, <clears throat> yeah, so anyway, right now I'm listening to Gabby Bernstein. I don't know if you guys are familiar with her. She's kind of woo. She's one of the people that does, or she's the author of The Universe Has Your Back. Um, but yeah, she always says choose again. And that's been a phrase that's been really, really helpful for me. Um, it's a big thing I've implemented. Like you can always choose again, like choose better. It's always this or something better is what she says. And Joy says that too sometimes. Um, but yeah, another easy thing I've done with a big impact is, and it sounds really obvious once I say it, but, um, I unfollowed any negative accounts on any social media things, um, that bother me. And I ended up following hashtag, like a couple different hashtags. One of them is like hashtag self love. And the other one is hashtag spiritual gangster. Cause I really like the vibes that those types of posts put out. Um, and that's really fun to like log in and like see fun things. Um, yeah, so that kind of comes back to like the vibe saying like that your vibe attracts your tribe. Um, I just don't want to put yucky stuff in my bubble because if it's, I just don't want it around. Like I don't want to have like space for that anymore. So um, also I want to say that coaching has been really game changing. Um, it's been like Joy said, like I've been doing a lot of growth and stuff and that's been a huge part of my personal and business growth. So that's been really helpful. Um, I just continue to be hyper aware um, and I look inside and I ask myself why, um, like, why am I reacting like this? Like, why am I being like this? And like, that might sound like harsh, but like, I really like to like reflect in and see like what part I play or like why I'm triggered or like whatever. Um, something's happening for me versus to me. And just that like simple switch has been really, really helpful also. Um, which kind of leads me to my next point. I was going to talk about like my avatar. <clears throat> um, I had done some deep avatar work when I first joined this business. Um, and it was really great. It was really, really helpful. It helped me get really clear on like who I was talking to and who I was looking for. Um, but when I have been like doing all this like personal growth stuff, I haven't taken into account my avatar changing because I'm changing. And like when you grow, you want to like grow your like shift who you're working with, you know, cause like it changes. Um, as a result of me not changing my avatar, I was starting to attract like the type of people into my business that I didn't necessarily want to attract. Um, I'm really, really here for the people that want this for themselves just as bad as I do that like that really inspires me. Um, I can't want someone's success and growth more than, um, they want it for themselves. Um, and that's what my new avatar really reflects. So if you guys haven't like reworked your avatar in a hot second and you have been doing some work on yourself, I would highly, highly suggest it um, and see where it lands because I'm sure it's different. Um, but yeah, as I do all this work and stuff, I've had to kind of like shift and create some new boundaries, test those boundaries. Um, I've had to kind of like change what I am and what I'm not available for. Um, yeah, uh, I was going to say, oh, I've had, I was like, I, made, I took notes, you guys. Um, I was, oh, I was going to say that, like, my new avatar really continues, like, as I gain more clarity on, like, who she is and what I'm looking for um, out there for a business partner and, like, customers, um, I have outgrown, like I said, I'd outgrown my old avatar. Um, and the pain of staying stuck felt greater than the pain of change. I think that's a big thing that I've been working on, too. Um, just because you want this for someone else doesn't mean that they want it and you can't force them to see this like you do. Um, you're going to burn yourself out. This is your business and it should feel fun. And the relief and the freedom from that realization has been really gold. Um, that just that like detachment is key. Mercedes talks about um, compassionate, what do you say? Oh my God, compassionate detachment. And that's really, really helpful too. Like just to let, like you really, really like you care, but you don't, you know, you can't be like attached to the result, I guess. But anyway, I'm attached to my success. And that is that. <laughs> Thank you so much, Lauren. Um, I hope that was really helpful for you guys. It's, it's, I think Lauren is actually a perfect example. And I see this um, in, in some people sometimes in this business is you're doing the dap, like you're doing all the things, all the business producing activity things, but because the mindset isn't there, like you don't have the belief in yourself, maybe your business isn't moving forward, maybe the way that you'd like it to. So um, I would say that, you know, some level of personal growth 
or personal development um, should be absolutely critical in your, you know, daily method of operation or your daily action plan. Please don't forget to work on that. Um, it's really, really important. And it starts, you know, maybe in the beginning with like the belief in yourself. So you feel confident to, you know, have a solid invite and attract like the right person for your business. But then also like as you grow into leadership, you know, it, you have to continue to develop yourself and, you know, people come into my business sometimes and trigger me like, you know, and it's interesting to look at that and in my growth as a leader is totally hinged on my level of self-awareness, I think, and personal development. So um, any questions for Lauren or anything on that before I wrap it up? Okay. Um, I just wanted to remind you guys the flip the switch promo for anyone that doesn't know it is um, five customers and 500 new volume points from those customers um, gets you um, one piece of the pie or slot to the pool. Um, last month, the pool was a little more. It was $150 and change. Um, Heather Bedell last month got two um, slices of the pool. So she made $300 and that was on top of the $200 commission that she would have made. Cause you remember you make, if you have five customers and you're getting 500 new points of volume at 40%, that's $200 right there. So it's a really nice way to just earn a little bit of extra money for what we, you know, should be doing anyway. Um, if that feels like a lot, um, and you have a team, you can also get a slice of the pool, or earn extra bonus money by helping people rank advance or rank advancing yourself. Um, for people that are moving at a little bit slower pace, there's a couple other things. Um, Marcy's Shining Stars program, um, which I believe, somebody correct me if I'm wrong, is one at least one new customer and a hundred, it's two new customers. Thanks for clarifying that, Stacey. Two new customers and a hundred points of volume which is what we should be doing, should, I don't like the word should, but what we should be doing anyway, just for growing our business so we have access to commission. Once you hit pro three, you'll need to do that to qualify for commission and um, extra bonuses anyway. Um, and then there's also what I'm offering is $100 um, to any, like I'm gonna raffle that off if the team as a whole um, can get 100 new customers. Um, so that's a really nice way that for anybody, like we, if we all work together, a hundred customers is absolutely possible and every one customer counts. Um, so I wanted to add that in there so everyone can feel like they can have a part of this. Um, everyone here, is everybody registered for global? I'm going to assume yes. Um, global is different. It's not being held in person in Vegas. There are some people who are comfortable who are getting together in person. I would encourage you to do that if that's something that you feel comfortable with. If you can't do that because of, you know, life commitments um, or because you're not comfortable with that, that's totally fine. You have access to global um, at your house. Marcy is sending out the cutest care package to everyone that's registered. So please make sure that you have gotten registered. If you need help with that, ask me or ask your upline enroller. Um, they are going to be talking about the app um, and rolling out the new customer appreciation plan. Um, so with that, um, okay, Colleen, if you need help, let me or Susan or Kathleen, we're all here to help you. Um, I'm excited that you guys are all getting together at Susan's house in North Dakota, right? For global? Yeah. That's the goal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I wish we weren't all so far away. I feel a little like FOMO. I'm like, I want to go to North Dakota. I want to go to Michigan. Like I want to go to Ohio. Like there's a bunch of places. Like I wish we could all be together. So it is what it is. Um, thanks for being here today. Um, I hope this, this was helpful. If there's anything else that you guys want to hear more about in these coffee and coachings, please feel free to reach out and let me know. And one last thing, I am looking for some help for the Wellness Evolution events. Um, I think I've done them for a year and I'm feeling a little burnt out and out of ideas and my lack of energy is showing up in the event and it's obvious. 
Um, so if there's anyone that would feel excited to rip off the Band-Aid and do something new and participate, please let me know. Um, I think it's a really nice system that we have, um, but I need help in order to keep that going. Okay, thanks you guys, bye.